Today, I am going to tell you about an altcoin gem named VID and everything you need to know about it. Here is what I am going to cover in this video. What is VID and what do they offer? What is the price? Why will the price of VIDT moon? And VIDT price prediction. So what does VID offer? VID is a document certification service and is catered to organizations. The VIDT API enables organizations to secure their digital data against fraud and manipulation. Nowadays anything can be forged or altered, this can be digital documents such as photos, diplomas, reports, grades, research results, and etc. What VID does is create a fingerprint for a document that is stored on the blockchain. This specific file can be copied and shared countless times and yet, the integrity of its fingerprint will still be intact and can be verified. However, let's say a person decides to alter some research results. So when the organization wanted to verify this file, they'll know it has been altered, because even if just one byte is different, VID will remove the verification. The VID API is easy to implement, since it can be integrated with the largest cloud services out there, such as Amazon Web Services, IBM Cloud, Google Cloud, and Microsoft Azure. Organizations also have the option to pick between five blockchains to store the fingerprints on, and the offered blockchains are Ethereum, Bitcoin, Digibyte, IBM's Hyperledge, and the LTO network, so the fingerprint can be stored on millions of nodes. And lastly, the fees associated with verifying a document are covered by the validation wallet. Moving on to how an organization would verify the document, they can either use the API, but if their verification volume is lower, they can use the website. The verification done on the website is as simple as dragging and dropping the document. As you can see, it took a short time to verify the document, even though mine isn't verified. Moving on to the VIDT token, here is what they say about it. The VIDT token provides VID with an instrument to control the prices for validations in VIDT, which allows VID to compensate for the constant fluctuations of exchange rates and transaction fees that come with the different blockchains that are used. If we take a look at this flowchart you can see that when a file is verified, 80% of the spent token will be returned to the main wallet to future validations, and the last 20% of the spent tokens will be burned. Also, VID will always hold around 25 million VITs for the validation process, this is why they buy 10% of the tokens needed for the validation service. This deflation, combined with e-company buyback, is why the VIDT will increase in price over time. Also, the tokens that weren't sold during the token sale will be burned. Another important thing is the token lockup, the company holds 5% of the total supply, which is being split 3% and 2% between the VID team and advisors. And these tokens will be locked for 5 years and every year, 20% will be released. So let's take a look at the price of VIDT. The price sits at 51 cents, with a market cap of $24 million and circulating supply of 49.4 million VIDT, out of the maximum supply of 58.5 million. So why do I think this coin may moon? The company burns 20% of spent VITs when a document verification has taken place, and the company buys back 10% of the amount needed for their validation service from exchanges. The company itself offers easy document verification to prevent forgery or manipulation of data, which is crucial for many organizations, and since VID has partnerships with big companies like CMS Law, LTO, IBM and more, you know this has demand. Furthermore, their customers are companies such as Airbus, Amspec, Nyan Road University, and many more. Last great thing about VID is that they are not just restricted to protection of digital documents. VID is also being used to protect the integrity of real-life goods. These items can be luxury watches or paintings, and if a person buys a painting from an art dealer that partnered with VID, the person gets the proof of authenticity and legitimate ownership certificate that is saved on the blockchain. 
where the buyer, along with the certificate, the buyer gets a NFT token that holds the fingerprint of the document with authenticity certificate. So as more and more companies use VID for forgery protecting documents and goods, this company will boom, along with the VID token. With that being said, let's move on to the analysis of VIDT. VIDT has previously failed to break the $1 level. As of now the coin is currently meandering above the 50 cent support level. I don't think the price will fall below 50 cents, and if we do, it will likely push back above 50 cents, since it is a strong area of support. As for future projections, my prediction is $5. VID will be a company that can benefit greatly from Bitcoin adaptation, since organizations can be exposed to the crypto world without making it complicated. The coin is also deflating which will only increase the demand and therefore the price, so that's why I think $5 is possible in the near future. I also think VIDT can push past $10, but that will take longer, when more companies partner with VID and art and luxuries dealers utilize the NFT. If we take a look at possible resistance levels we got $1, which is what we are battling right now, but once that is broken, the usual 50% and 100% price gains will be areas of resistance.